Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Anne. How are you today, Anne? I'm good. You're good? That's very, very good. How's Tracy today? Um, I'm fine. <laughs> You're fine, huh? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. No school? When do you start university again? Um... Or did you already start? I can't remember. Some every, different countries have different schools. Vietnam, most students are still on holiday. But uh, in Indonesia, the students are already back to school. In India, the school students are already back to school. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a bit confusing. And then universities are different, too. You guys have weird university schedules. So are you studying yet or are you are you still on holidays? <laughs> Tracy, are you in school now or still on summer holidays? Um. About next week, about next week. Ne next, next week, you go back to school? Yes. Okay. All right. And same with you? You go back to school next week? Do you, do you go back to school next week, Anne? Yes. You too, huh? All right. Hello, Hannah. Hello. How's Hannah today? Did you like your test? Today, um, um, I'm good. Yeah. Good. Did you like your video? Did you like your test on YouTube? Did you watch it? I, yeah. It was good? Yes. I think you yeah. guys all did good. good. I'm doing Tracy now. Tracy's test is the one I'm editing now. And I put I posted Bella's today. Did you see your test yet, Bella? You're muted. Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah. Did you like it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do you know? I don't know. Jeez. <laughs> Bella thought they gave the ring to a dog. Unbelievable. No. <laughs> Hello, Ruby Dooby Doo. How are you? I'm good. You're good too? That's good. Everybody's in a good mood. Where's Peter? I don't know. I don't know. We'll see if Peter comes. He's late a lot lately. All right. Today we're going to talk about Another family that lives like. Who did we talk about last week? Remember those people who lived the same for the last 350 years? No TV, no electricity, no handphone, no internet. Who was that? Who did we read about last week? What was it? Lesson three. What was it? Oh, there's Peter. The Amish. Yeah, remember the Amish people? All the men have a full beard, but no mustache. And they all wear black suits. And the women all wear long black dresses and little hoods. I don't know what they call them. Yeah, well, this is another... Yeah. group of people that live like that too in our workbook page 13, uh, 12 and 13 talking about people that live at Long Hill now I don't know how many families there are that live there but they live the same way they don't like technology they want to be one with nature so they live that way too and this is supposed to be in southern England and I tried Googling this group. I tried Googling Long Hill Village, Long Hill Farms, Long Hill Community. I couldn't find anything on the Internet about these people. So I don't know if it's a true story or made up. But I mean, 
you know, they got pictures of the guy on the farm with his chickens and his ducks here. So I don't, maybe there's just a different name. I'm not really sure, but there was nothing on the internet about these guys. So I couldn't, I couldn't find any other information. So I'm not sure, but we're going to read about another family like that today. Um, so our vocab is going to be about a little bit about the same as last week. And then I added some other vocab and it's really related around farms, machines and tools that we use. So should be an interesting vocabulary. How's Peter today? I'm fine. You're fine. Why are you late again? You don't have a clock. You don't know the time? I, yeah. Yeah, what? Why are you late again? Peter. What? Why were you late again today? My computer is so loud. Your computer is so Lock. locked. 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 Computer went to the park and it got lost. He couldn't make it home in time for class. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, I got everybody in my little screen here. Okay. Yeah, so I thought I was being clever because this guy looks a little bit like the picture, the guy in the picture, the farmer. But uh, after I finished the lessons and we posted the event on Facebook, I realized one mistake. What's the, mis what's the mistake with this picture? No? No detectives in the class? Well, the, remember I said this, this group in Long Hill live like the Amish. So if they live like the Amish, what's wrong with this picture? No? Oh, my God. No detectives here. There's a tractor in the picture. See in the back, there's a tractor. But the Amish and the people in, in, in uh, Long Hill don't use modern technology. They still use horses and cows and bulls. And they pull the plows, the, 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 the plow, yeah, to dig up the earth to grow food. They don't use tractors and modern equipment. Well, at least I don't think so. It doesn't say they don't use tractors. But when we look at the Amish... You know, they, they still use uh, buggies and horses. So, and the pictures that we saw, you know, it all looks like working horses pulling the hay around from the farmyard. So it doesn't look like they use tractors either. No, no, no machinery. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's get started. We got Bella's leading with three wins today. So let's see if someone can give Bella a run for their money, her money today. So our first one is going to be, oops, do, 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 do. Uh oh, I, oh yeah, I can do that. The 8th of August already, so fast. Where is my life going? I sit in front of a computer. Ah. All right, number one. What the heck is that? The tractor. <laughs> yeah. tractor. A tractor. Yeah. I just said the problem with that first picture was there's a tractor in there. But those families, those people, they don't use tractors. They still live the old fashioned way. So that's a point for Bella. Already one nothing for Bella. Bella bada bing. Bella bada boom. Unbelievable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Do you have a tractor, Peter? No. Do you want to have a tractor? No. Do you want to be a farmer? <laughs> no. Why not? It's a good job. You no. have fresh food every day and you work outside all day. It's beautiful. <laughs> no. Nobody wants to be a tractor driver. Unbelievable. Driving tractors are fun. Fun, fun, fun. Ah, ah. Idea. Yeah, I 
idea. Who said that? Was that Tracy? Tracy. Tracy is on the boat yes. today. I have an idea. Let's go to the beach. I like that idea. I haven't gone to the beach this summer at all. I gotta go. I'm living in Danang and I don't even go to the beach. This is terrible. Oh, he's already very red. Look at his shoulders. <laughs> Let's go to the beach. That's a great idea. Ding! The, the light bulb. I have an idea. The brain. The brainy brain brain has an idea. Right, Anne? Do you have any ideas? How are we going to save the world? Hmm? How are we going to save the world? Any ideas, Anna? No ideas? <laughs> idea. Try that, Peter. Idea. 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 Bella, idea. Idea. Ruby, idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. Yeah, Hannah, I have an idea. An idea. I have an idea. What is it? What's your idea? I, I, a little idea. A little what? I, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Now you sound like Bella. <laughs> Tracy, I have an idea. I have an idea. And I don't have any ideas. I, I don't have an idea. No, I don't have an idea. No, I don't have any ideas. I don't. Don't have any ideas. Any idea. ID. ID. ID, you need ID to show who you are. Yeah. Ideas. Idea. <laughs> All right. Oh, what's that? Special. Special. Open. Look what's special the open. box. Open. Look what's open the box. No. Ah. Take your shoes off before you come. Special. No. This is very. Is everybody Indonesian and or Vietnamese in this class? Yeah, everybody's Vietnamese. Okay, so it's very popular in in well Indonesia too, but I, maybe it's an Asian thing. But many houses you go into, even some classrooms, you always have to take off your shoes before you go in. In what? No. Yeah. No. Ah. So close, Peter. The opposite of what you just said. In. The opposite of what you just said. Come on, Hannah. Come on, Ruby. You can't guess if you're muted, Ruby. What, what, what? Mm -hmm. The box. The no. cat. Presses. What? Present. Present? No. Take off. Take your shoes off before you come present. Before you come where? Okay. You don't want to take your shoes off. You stay. Inside. What? Inside. Who said that? Tracy? Yes. Tracy, two points. Inside, Bella, not in-house. <laughs> oh, inside the box. Whatever is inside the box, they look happy. It must be a new phone because it has a camera. Or at least it's some kind of camera. Maybe it's a cat. Maybe it's a chicken. Maybe Bella sent them a chicken. No. You didn't send them a chicken? No. Maybe Peter sent them a hamster. Oh. No hamsters. Maybe Ruby sent them a smile. Smile. No? No. Sure. No. How come you don't give me a smile? Why don't you give me a smile, Ruby? I want a smile. 
No smiles for movie today. I think I think Ruby wants to beat me up. But I'm, but I'm a nice teacher. Nobody wants to hurt Mr. Trevor. What the what the what? Uh, Anna, stop smiling. It's bad for your teeth. <laughs> Why? All right. Good job, Tracy. Okay, come on, Peter. Bada bing, bada boom. You get this one. Oh, this is a tough one. All right. This word is tough. But it's about the person who starts a company or starts a new thing. Um, and it could be about anything. Oops, sorry, I forgot to put the word up. Inside. So inside or outside. Outside. Yeah, remember that. Inside, outside. In house, outhouse. <laughs> but an outhouse means a toilet. So we don't want to say I'm going to the outhouse. <laughs> it was before plumbing. We used to use outhouses or the hole in the ground, and that was the toilet. Not nice. Delete. Yeah, I'm called an outhouse. This one. So pay attention to the centers and see if you can, the sentences, the centers, the sentences, and see if you can figure it out. Someone who establishes an organization. Mark Zuckerberg is the what? Of Facebook. Right. The what? Great. Ah, uh, the creator of Facebook. Well, it's like creator. It's almost the same meaning, but that's not the word we use. The mm, fathers of the United States, right? These are the first four presidents. Mm, what is it? Founder. Yeah. See, I told you you were going to get this one, Peter. <laughs> Founders, right? Like Miss Lay is the founder of. Uh, I take uh, I take medicines, medicine. 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 It looks like you're doing little shots of whiskey. Oh, have a shot. More time. No, no whiskey for you. <laughs> uh, the founding fathers of the United States. These are the first first presidents. Is it Washington and Jefferson, Lincoln and Ferguson or something like that? I don't remember them all. I'm not American. But yeah, well, the, the reason they call them the founding fathers is they're the ones that's the kind of the guys, I guess. I, I don't know the whole history kind of who form and founded the, the governments and the systems and how how the liberties and the charter of rights and all these things happened in America. So they're considered the found the, the four founding fathers. And this 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 mountain here where they carved out their faces in the side of a mountain. It's called Mount Rushmore. That's the name of this mountain. And it's um it's a, a big tourist attraction in in America. And it's quite an amazing job they did carving these faces out of these rocks it's pretty wild when you think about it would have taken a lot of work can you can, can you do that i wonder what kind of uh what kind of equipment they used to uh to carve these faces out but they did a really good job i mean they look like especially like Lincoln over here, it really looks like him and look at the eyes it's really cool how they managed to make the eyes this is all in rock on a mountain Mount Rushmore. And of course, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. I think it's Zuckerberg. Zuck Zuckerberg is the founder of Facebook. It means he's the one that created it. I mean, he wasn't the only one, but he's the one credited as the main idea guy, I guess. And he owns it. He owns more shares than anybody. Who's the founder and creator? So that's why I say it's very much the same as a creator. Founder or creator, very similar. Who's the founder and creator of Amazon? Anybody know who that is? No. One of the richest men in the world. No? Yeah. Jeff. Jeff. 
Jeff Bezos is his name. Jeff Bezos, yes. who is the founder of Tesla Motors, the, the, the big electric car company, and SpaceX. Anybody know what? who owns that? Who's the founder of that? Is he the founder? I don't know if he... No, actually, he bought the company. So he'd be the founder of SpaceX. He was building rockets, and he wants to go to Mars this, this decade. Who's that guy? They say he's like the richest individual guy in the world. It's worth like some $200 billion. He's all, he also well, was in the process of buying Twitter. But apparently, he's not going to buy it now. At least that's the last I heard about it. You don't know who that guy is either? Wow, these are all very prominent you know, kind of in some ways important figures in today's world. That this guy's name is Elon. Anybody know the last name? Elon. Elon. No, his first name is Elon. E L O N. Elon. His last name is Musk. M U S K. Elon Musk. You'll probably hear about those guys more in the future for sure. Dum, 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 dum. Peter's on the board. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right. So, again, look at the definition here. Yeah. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg. They're, they're all the, the big business billionaires. Well, he's the guy that owns Tesla Motors, the cars, and SpaceX. He's the one that's building those rockets that go in outer space, and then they can come back, and they can land, and you can use them again. He wants to go to Mars really soon be it to build a Mars colony. So who knows? If he succeeds, we'll see an, a colony on Mars in the next 10 years. Who knows? We'll see what happens. All right, so come on. Here we got, we got our clues. All right, we got our clues. I should have had you guys repeat founder because there's that N sound in there. But I got busy talking, telling stories. All right, so pay an admission charge. Pay to get in, yeah? Admission means to get in. Charge, but children get in for free. Okay. And then you have a couple of farmers here. Something looks like they're testing the soil. They got farmer shirts on. A person or animal that has grown to a full size and strength, so not a kid. So what would they be? Who has to pay to go to the zoo? They're not kids. What are they? Yeah, adults. Who said that? Me. Who? The girl with the bro the girl with the broken microphone? What? The girl with the broken microphone? Is that who said that? Me. I don't believe it. Nature. Uh, nature. Well, there's nothing nature at the zoo. <laughs> oh, no. She got it. Bella got it. It's uh, Bella's second point. Tie with Tracy. And Oh, why didn't it come up? There we go. Adults. Right, adults pay they have to pay money to go into the zoo but it's free for the children right and you know a person or an animal that has grown to full size and strength well you're not growing anymore you are now an adult adult your mom and dad are adults your grandparents are adults you guys well most of you are all teenagers now I think Peter's a teenager Bella not yet Ruby's 12, almost. How old is Anna? I forget. You're 12 too, right, Anna? I said you are 12, right? Or wrong? So wrong. Wrong? How old are you? I'm 12. So I'm right. I'm not wrong. You're 12. 12. Yeah, 12. 12. So you're almost a teenager. And Tracy, you're 19? No. 20? 20. 20. Ah, so you're a young adult now. And are you 19 or 20? How old are you? I'm 20 years old. 
You're 22. Oh, my God. You guys are going to be married soon. No. <laughs> so we have two young adults in the class, two preteens and two teenagers, I think. Yeah. Or one teenager. Anyway, Peter, you're 13 or 14? 14. 14 now. Yeah. I know. Ah, we're going to say this. This one's a hard one to say. And a doll. Go to that L. And then you got to drop a TS. Adults. 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 With a T. Adult. Adults. So actually, let's do it this way. One adult. Two adults. One adult. Two adults. Okay, that's pretty good, Tracy. One adult. Two adults. One adult, one adult, two adults. Okay, one adult. <coughs> one adult. One adult. Adult. adults. Yeah, Hannah. One adult, two adults. One adult, two adults. Good. Ruby, one adult, two adults. One adult. Two adults. Very good. Bella, one monkey, 14 chickens. <laughs> one monkey. <laughs> one monkey. 14 chickens. 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 And they're all adults. <laughs> and and they're, they're all. all and they're adults. all adults. Adults. Peter, I'm not an adult yet. And I don't like adults. Why? I don't know. Okay, I like adults. <laughs> 15 adults in the room. Peter. Uh. What do you mean, what? 15 adults in the room. 15 adults in the room. No, not 50 adults in the room. 15, one five. 15, teen. 15 adults. adults in the room. In the room. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Do, 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 do. Next one's oh. going to be. Ah. All right. So you have to mm, for that yellow circle if you want to hit the bullseye to be perfect. Guide. What? Guide. Guide. Well, the father was guiding the girl, and the archer is going to guide the arrow. But it's about the goal here, right? Now, the archer wants to hit that yellow circle. That's the bullseye. So she has to what? Very, very carefully. Peter should know this. What do you when you play free fire and you got to take your gun and you got to hit the other guy jumping around in the field? You have to what? What do you have to do to get your target to accomplish your goal? Right? Her main goal is to ride the bicycle. Her purpose, her reason, well, not her reason. But. What's that word? What do you do with it with a rifle when you look through the scope? All right, are you focused to get something done? What is that focus called? Only three letters. Come on, start Googling. You can find this. And Ruby, you haven't got a point yet. Anna, come on, come on, come on. What do you have to do with a gun if you want to hit the target? What does she have to do with that bow and arrow to hit the hit the bullseye? What, what, what? Achieve. Achievement. Ach well, achieve is when you've done it. You have finished your goal. Then you have achieved your goal. You have now received it. Succeed? Is that what you said, Tracy? Succeed? Success? Success. 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 Um, 
Well, success is almost like achieve, I guess, because you gain success when you accomplish things that you say that your goals, once you've done it again. But in order to do it first, you have to really focus your what? It's another word for goal. I don't mean like a football goal. Achievement, you know. Oh, it's not achievement. Achievement is after, right? Once you get your degree from university, you have an achievement. You have completed that task. That's an achievement, right? Once you have finished something or hit a certain level, you've achieved something. Now, this is only three letters. Starts with an A. Training. Three. three. What, Peter? Training. F training. Yeah, well, that's a T R A N. I N I N G. That's more than three letters. And it didn't start with an A. Propose. <laughs> three letters. <laughs> Two. Propose. Huh? Propose. I propose doesn't start with an A. And proposes more than three letters. One. Ruby, you know what it is? What is it? What is it, Ruby? Just. M-O-M-M. -O -M -M. It's M -M. the result that your plans or actions are intended to achieve something. And it wouldn't be achieved because I have achieved in the definition. All right. Her main aim, her main focus, her main goal is to ride the bike. All right. Because she still needs help. So she needs help, but dad's helping her. All right. And the, and again, physically here, you have to aim at the yellow circle, right? If you want to hit that bullseye, you need to aim for it. You can't just that way and say, oh, that way. You know, you have to aim. Or if you have a rifle, a sniper gun, you need to aim through the scope for your target. It's the same thing in life. You Now you guys are aiming to finish your high school, finish your schooling. All right. Aim was the word. Where are they? Friends. Like, friends, sure. But where are they? It's such a nice day. Let's go. Holiday. <laughs> On a holiday, walking in a dirt road, having a cup of coffee? No. Conversation. No. Yeah. <laughs> such a nice day. Let's go. Conversation? I don't think so. Look at the sentence. The external side or surface of something. Walking. Let's go walking. Oh, that's a good, good, good answer. Cheering. What, Peter? Cheering. Touring, outdoor. Would you say walking? Cheer. No, chilling. No, where are they? What? Relax. Relax. Where? Where the place? Where are they? Are they in church? Are they in school? What? Traveling? Traveling. At a coffee shop? Take a walk. No, they're not walking. They're sitting down eating and sharing a sandwich. Mm. Where are they? Not what are they doing. Where are they? Go out. No, that's a verb. Go out. Outside. Outside. Ah, they're outside. <laughs> Unbelievable. Who is that? Bella again? Bella Bada Bing? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. The Bella, the one with the broken speaker, broken microphone. <laughs> what? The broken microphone, Bella. So you sound louder today than you did at the test. On your test report, I wrote you should get a new microphone. <laughs> All right. 
outside this time. Yeah, before they were inside. Now they're outside. I thought you would get that so fast. I was thinking this is too easy. Oh. All right. So when you finish high school, where are you going to go? University. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And to Tracy, how could you not get University. this? How could you not get this? You are both at the moment undergraduate university students. Oh, and Bella gets it. Unbelievable. University or college. Yeah. Um, so I guess the thing here is what what's the difference between an undergraduate and a postgraduate? See the two words here in the definition? A place where people study for an undergraduate or postgraduate degree. Does anybody know the difference? No? Yeah. And do you know the difference between a postgraduate and a undergraduate? No? Yes? And? Yes. What's the difference? What is an undergraduate? You said yes, you know. What is it? Are you watching YouTube? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm going to put a spy camera, come and check on you with a drone. So do you know what an undergraduate is? Do you know the difference between undergraduate and postgraduate? Undergraduate don't have a degree. No, those are degrees. You could have an undergraduate degree or you could have a postgraduate degree. What's the difference between the two? No, that's not what it means. An undergraduate is someone who is studying for one degree, like a, like a, a bachelor's, a four-year degree, a bachelor's in science, a bachelor's in English, a bachelor's in, in economics, just the, the first four years. That's an undergraduate degree. A postgraduate is someone who does a master's or a doctorate. <laughs> You know, someone who goes on and gets like two degrees, like specializes into something after the first degree. Most people just get one degree, an undergraduate degree, and then they move on to the workforce. Some people stay and study longer and get like a master's. That's the difference. So that's four points for Bella now. Four, two, one, one, bang, bang. Oh, no, no, no. Ruby doesn't have a point. Four, two, one, bam, bam, bam. Oh, my God. Look at the sentences. Look at the definition. A group of words, usually containing a subject and a verb, expressing a statement, question, Baseball. instruction, or ex what? Baseball. Ay, ay, ay. Baseball is a group of words. Read the definitions. Read the below. What is Bob through the ball? In the uh, this, I wish I were rich. The verb were is in the subjunctive. Sentence. Yes, sentence. That Tracy? Yes. That's right. What's the answer, Anne? Sentence. What's the answer, Anna? Hannah? Sentence. What's the answer, Ruby? Sentence. Peter? Sentence. Sentence. Just like Ben 10. With an S. Ben 10 sentence. And the C is going to be an S. Sentence. Sentence. Yeah. Sentences. Well, plural sentences. That's right. Sentences. I have to write 10 sentences. Good. Michael, make it came. Hello, Grandma. <laughs> um, so. Hannah said baseball here earlier, right? She she was looking at um she was looking at this player. 
That's funny. They put tape all over their uh, their like badges yeah, huh? and their, their team, so nobody knows what team they play for. That's kind of cool to be safe, I guess. But anyway, this is not baseball. Baseball, you throw the ball and you hit it with a bat whoosh, and hit it out of the field. Oh. Um, that's baseball. What is this sport? Do you guys know what sport this is? I don't know. Anybody? No? Nobody knows this sport? This is... Oh, go ahead. Basketball. Right? Oh, basketball. They wear shorts and they're all seven foot tall and they bounce the ball and they throw the ball in a basket. Yeah. Basketball. It, yeah, well, it's kind of similar to rugby in some ways. Rugby. Yeah. Um, this, it's yeah. not handball either. That's another good game, too. I used to play handball. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's actually called football. Volleyball. Football. Yeah. Believe it or not. <laughs> football. <laughs> but it's a different kind of football. It is American football. An American football. You do kick the ball sometimes to give it to the other team or to score three points. Uh, but this one is more of a game. The guy is called a quarterback, and he has his line who protects him. You can hit each other. Yeah, you, can, you have to try to tackle each other. It's a very rough game. A lot of people get hurt, injuries. Um, a lot of big men that play the game, of course. Um, but the idea is that you can throw. See how he's throwing this ball? Let's see that video again here. Watch the ball here. I hit that. I, oh, I still have the tools here. Okay. Okay, sorry. See that ball he has in his hand? Kind of like shaped like an egg almost. It's different, yeah? It looks like a rugby ball. But that ball throws really well in, in the air. Um, so that, that football, you can throw it or you can give it to the guy behind you and he can run with it. And you try to make it all the way down the field to score some points. This is a and it, this is mostly just a North American game, really where it's most popular and in the USA. Uh, Canada has a league, Canadian football. It's similar games, but it's it's called American football. Ow. Yeah, cows. A group of animals that include cows, buffalo or bison that are often kept for their milk and meat. What do you call this big group? It's not a herd. Remember we did a herd of goats, a herd of horses. What do we call them when it's when when we're talking about cows? And buffalo. And bison. Bison is like buffalo. Cow listening to music. Cow listening to music, huh? <laughs> a cow concert. <laughs> no, no. Okay. What kind of farmers are these that take care of lots of cattle? Lots of, not, lot, lots of cows. What kind of farmer is this? It's not a rice farmer. We don't call them cow farmers. What do we call them? Nobody knows? Oh, this is a good word to know, too. There's a few. Founders are a really good one to, to know. What is it, Bella? What's name? Ranchmen? Herds. Herds. Yeah, I said earlier. Herd. Herd is similar. But herds can be wild too. Right? I say herd. H E R D. Herd. Right? If you see horses together, that would be a herd of horses. If you see sheep together, that would be a herd of sheep or lamb. Sheep. Yeah, sheep, I guess. Lamb or baby sheep. Um, those we call herds. What is a group of, oh, would it be? Yeah, even zebras, a herd of zebras, a herd of deer, I think. I think for deer and gazelles would be a herd as well. With that, dogs, it would be a pack. No, it's not the one we're looking for here. Not herd. But it's like a herd, but it's a different word for cows. Like, what do they call all these people that have big ranches or whatever it is, and they have these big farms where they have lots of cows? What kind of farm is it? Cattle. Yeah. Say it again. Hana. No, you, the, the first one was right. Cattle. Cattle. It's a cattle farm. 
a lot of cows together that are being farmed for their milk and meat and all that stuff. It's called cattle. You could be a cattle rancher, kind of a cattle farm. Um, you could be moving cattle. Like in the old days, we didn't have big trucks to move our cows. So farmers would get on their cowboy ho horses and they would, they would uh, corral, corral, get them all together and use dogs and other cowboys. And they take their cattle and they just go through the fields in the countryside to bring their cows to the markets to sell them or bring them to another town and sell them cattle. Yeah, that's what it's called. Cattle, Peter. Cattle rancher. So you would call a place with lots of cows, you'd call it a cattle ranch. And the person would be a rancher. So let's try that, Peter. A cattle rancher. Cattle rancher. Yeah, that would be a person who has cows. Bella, cattle rancher. I think it's cattle rancher. I hope so. <laughs> cattle rancher. Cattle. 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 Cattle rancher. Rancher is Ruby. Ruby, are you muting your computer on me? Cattle rancher. So why is it you're talking before and I can't hear you? I get the feeling you're muting your computer. Are you doing that to me? No. No muting. Cattle rancher. Cattle rancher. Cattle rancher. Hannah? Cattle rancher. Tracy? Cattle rancher. And? Cattle rancher. Cattle rancher. All right. Now, another thing to remember is this little V. You see this little V down here? Under the T? See that? What does anybody know what that means? No. <laughs> I have told you before, but do you remember what that little V here means? Anybody? No? No. Okay. No idea. No idea, huh? I'll show you. It's the same, equal to D. Or a D, small D, big D. It means that in American English, they often often, often, often pronounce the T's like a D. So in the Americas, most people are going to say cattle. Most people are going to say cattle with the accent. Just like this word. What's this? What word is that? Bottle. bottle, yeah. That's the proper pronunciation. But in the U.S., most people are going to say bottle, bottle. Because the T and the D are almost the same, right? The T, your tongue, uh, your tongue goes up, right? T -t -t. No, no voice. You just make the sound with your mouth. T -t -t. But... With the D, you do the same thing. Your tongue goes up, yeah? But you use your voice. D, 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 T, 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 D, D, T, T. But the position of your tongue is the same. So it's very, very common that people will pronounce the T's like D's because they're already at the bottle. Bod and they're lazy. Bottle <laughs> instead of making the T sound. But it's accepted now. And that's why that little V is there. And you'll always see the little V under some T's. Always. And even even this word. You'll you'll hear many, many Americans say what? What would the Americans say? Water. What would the Americans often, most Americans would say? Water, I, wa water. 
I want a glass of water. Not water, water. Oh, he's such a little kid. Little, little. Yeah. Many, many, many Americans again would say little. Are you sleepy? I'm a little, little sleepy. That's an American pronunciation. Yeah. Okay. Now you know. So, cattle, that was Hannah. Yeah. Hannah's on the board now. Next word. Let's go. Yeah. Ah, good job. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Ruby and Anne get on here. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Ann. Clean, clean. Well, clean, but what is she cleaning the leaves with? What is that tool? <laughs> it's really great for barbecuing. You put hot dogs on each one, sausage, and then you just flip it and cook your hot dogs. <laughs> you can cook a lot of hot dogs at one time. Broom. What is it? Broom. No. Ah, broom is in the house. <laughs> This one starts with an R. Come on, Ruby. Come on, Anna. Get on the board today. I don't want to see another zero today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Peter, tell your cousin to go climb a tree. And Flintstone, tell Flintstone to go climb a tree. Stand. What is it? Stand to stand. Time? No. It's not a T. It starts with an R. Stop room. What? Stop room. Now, I don't know what that is, but definitely doesn't start with an R. Three. And Ruby, find the answer. I don't want to see zeros on your score again today. Two. One. What? Uh, a bar? Sweep? No. Well, technically, we say we are mm, up the leaves. We don't say sweep or sweeping the leaves. Unless they're on your porch or your balcony or something. Then it would be sweeping. Rake? It's called a rake. That's what this is called. You use a rake to rake up all the leaves. And rake, that's why we say rake up. Rake up all the leaves. Because we, we usually rake them up and then burn them. Or sometimes we throw them in bags. It depends what, what you're, where, you, where you live and what your situation is. But this is called a rake. That's a noun. And it's, you, we can also make it a verb. Um, what are you doing? Oh, I'm raking all the leaves up in my front yard and my backyard. Or what did you do yesterday? I didn't see you. Ah, oh, no, I was home. I, I raked up all the leaves. So it can be a noun or a verb, rake. All right, so here's another tool that people use. So don't forget rake. Rake. Now, oh, what is that? What is it? A noun. But it can be a verb. No. Yeah. yeah, who said that? Who's that? Yeah. Who's that? Anne? Anne. 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 All right. Finally, Anne is on the board. We need Ruby to get a point today. Plow. It's the same as wow. W O W. But instead of the W up front, we're going to go. Who said you could dance? No dancing. No dancing. Go climb a tree and take the hamster with you. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so this tool is called a plow. So it's just like, wow. But instead of saying the W in the front, the wo, we do PL, like play. Plow. Bella. Plow. 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 Wow. Wow. Look at the plow, Peter. Plow. I said, wow. Look at the plow. Wow, look at the plow. Wow, look at the plow, Peter. Wow, look at the plow. <laughs> Ruby. Wow, look at the plow. Ruby. Wow, look at the plow. The plow, the plow. PL, PL. Look at the plow. 
Look at the plow. The plow. That's right. All right, Hannah. Pow! Wow. wow! Look at the plow. Wow! Look at the plow. Pow! P. Pow! W. Wow! Look at the plow. Pow! Wow! Look at the plow. Look at the plow. Plow. Again. Plow. Plow! Wow! Plow! Wow! Look at the wow! Plow! Plow! <laughs> wow! Look at the cow or cow with the plow. Chasey, pow wow, look at the cow with the plow. Pow wow, look look at the look at the cow with the plow. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the cow with the plow. All right, now you'll never forget. You'll never. Peter, tell your cousin to say, Pow wow, look at the cow with the plow. <laughs> no, say that. I know. <laughs> I want to say this because. You what? All right, Ruby, you better get a point. You better get a, get a point today, Ruby. What is that? A water what? Garden. Yeah, well, it's in the garden, but what's this thing here? You roll down the bucket yeah. and you get what? Yeah, you got it, Belle. And then you pull up water. It's a natural water well. Well. It's a well, well, well. It's a well. Well, well, well. Oh, it's, it's, don't forget your TS. Well, well, well. It's a well with a bell. Funny that. Bella. Well, well, well. It's a bell with a with bell. With a bell. I'm sorry. Should be a bell here. One with a bell. With a with a bell. With a bell. With a bell. Yeah. Wow! 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 Oh. Well, well, well. It's. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 it's Bella's with Bella's well with a bell. <laughs> no. Yes, it's your well. Nah, nah. All right, Ruby. Well, 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 it's Bella's well with a bell. Well, 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 it's Bella's well with a bell. Yeah, Peter. Well, 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 it's Bella's be Bella's well with a bell. Well, 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 it's Bella. Bella's hers possessive. It, who's well? It's Bella's it's well. Bella well. With Bella's well. Bella's well. Well, well, well. It's Bella's it's, it's, well. Okay. okay. Be careful of this part here. It's Bella's. <laughs> right? This S is possessive. It's telling us that the well belongs to Bella. All right. It's just like it's Trevor's house. It's Peter's cousin. It's Anne's yellow shirt, right? So it means it belongs to someone. So you got to be careful here. It, but we have an S. It is. It's Bella's. Let's try it again, Peter. Okay, Peter, give the dog to them and let them play. You can't focus on English if you're going to sit there and play no, with them and play with cousin. the dog. It's my cousin. Well, play with your cousin at break time. I'm going to play. Yes, you are. I'm going well, to play. Well. I'm going to show you play macaroni you. <laughs> well, well, well. It's Bella as well with a bell. <laughs> Peter. Well, well, well is... is it's, well, it's, 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 it's. <laughs> right, it, and go up to the T. Well, well, it's. well, it's the last well with a bell. Let's go, Hannah. Well, 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 it's Bella's bell with a Well, 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 it's Bella's well with a bell. Well, 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 it's, 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 it's. 
It's Bella's. Well, Bella's. With the bell, Bella's. Bella's. Well, it, with the bell. Try it again. Well, well, well. It's Bella's. Well, with a bell. Well, well, well. It is Bella's. Bella's. Well, with the bell. Casey. Well, well, well. It's Bella's. Well, with a bell. Well, 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 it's bell last, well, it's a bell. Very good. <laughs> with a bell. Yeah, with a bell. <laughs> bell, 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 ding dong, ding dong. All right, Jan, an, 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 It's your turn. Well, 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 it's Bella's well with a bell. Well, 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 it's Bella's well with the bell. All right, Bella, what are you doing with the bell? Uh, I don't know. You don't know. I want to buy the well. You sell it to me? Uh, I don't have a well. <laughs> But it says it's yours. Unbelievable. <laughs> no. Yeah. Now, remember, well is a tricky, tricky word, right? Notice how I said well, well, well at the beginning. Yeah. A well can be an adjective. It can be an adverb. It can actually be a verb in some ways. I am what now I I'd have to go through Cambridge to look at all when I went through Cambridge like just to find water well I had to go through like 10 different meanings for well so there are multiple uses multiple meanings for well many 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 I did well yeah a lot a lot a lot a lot but this is one of the nouns for sure a well a water well what's that a song a sword no that's not a sword so a what yeah bella gets it bella's got five points now she's got a little bit of a lead two point lead over tracy it's a shovel i said that why that's not what i heard i didn't did you guys yeah well you did i didn't And Lay, did you hear him say shovel? But what he said didn't make much sense to me. <laughs> I didn't understand what he said. No, it's like a sword. I no, thought he said, yes, yeah, sword. Have the right pronunciation, for sure. Yeah, sword, okay. All right, so this is a bonus point here, guys and girls. Oh, only one guy. But I could say guys, because guys means boys and girls. Okay, guys, here's a bonus point. Now, a shovel... It's like a snow shovel or a farm shovel. It's square. Notice the big one here that's pointy. Right? So typically, a shovel is square. It's for scooping up things. Right? For scooping up, scooping things up with ease. But this one with a point on it. And it's usually really strong and it's pointy. A lot of people call this a, a shovel as well, but technically it's not a shovel. What do we call this? This one. A what? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm going to pause this one. Just this one. See how it's pointy? This is the one. See, it has the little grooves on the edge. This is the one we dig holes with. We can stick it in the earth and use our leg to pound down on it to get to the dirt. You wouldn't want to have to dig a hole with a shovel. It would take a long time. Hard to get into the earth to, to do your work. But if you wanted to dig a hole, you'd want it one of these really metal ones that are pointy. So it gets right in underneath the earth. What do we call that? Five bonus point. Come on, Ruby. I know you got another app there with you. Use Google. Find some answers. Four. Oh, yeah. Three. Yeah. Two. One. It's called a spade. Like the general word that many people use is we just say, where's the shovel? We're just, we're just so used to saying it. At least I am. 
Uh, maybe it's different in different areas. And we kind of call both of them shovels. But technically, this is a shovel, a square one. It's like a scoop, right? And this is a spade. And it looks like the ace of spades. Yeah, the cards, we play cards, spades, hearts, diamonds, um, clubs. Yeah, spade. All right, no bonus point. But, but no. Bottle, not a bottle. You got it, Peter. Come on. But not a bottle. Show. Anna? Show? Yeah, show. Show? show. No. Show. Sauce. Sauce? No, put sauce on your pizza. Oh, this should be very easy. You all have one in your house. What is it? Everybody has one. You have an old water one here, really old, made of wood, really cool. It's all rusty and everything now. And then you got the ones that we all have, these plastic ones. Plastic. We always had plastic. I hate plastic. I hate plastic. Yeah, who's that? That Anne? Yes. Yes. Well, you, Paquit, Paquit, such a small little voice. It's hard to hear you. Buckets. Yeah, Peter, it's a bucket. Buck, 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 buckaroony. Bucket. Yeah. Well, you didn't get it. Anne got it. Bucket. Yeah. All right. So five points for Bella. Three points for Tracy. Two points for Anne. And Peter and Hannah have one each. Go to the next one. Like I said, lots of practical tools that we use around the house, around the farm. We all know what these things are. You should know what they're called. What is that? Water tap. Ah, the tap is where you turn the water on. But you attach this to a water tap. What's the green thing? Hydron. Hydron? Hydron is the red one that sits on the edge of the street. Water spray. Hydron. No, hydron is the one that's on the side of the street that the fire truck comes and opens it up and plugs in their big, big, long, long what? Fire what? Water spray. Pause. Yes. Anna? Yes. Say it again. Hose. Yes, that's the hose. Hannah gets a point. Two points for Hannah. All right, I'm going to try to explain this because someone said water spray too. Um, oops, that's not what I want. Yeah, I want this. Okay. All right, number one, you have your house, right? There's your sidewalk. Uh, let's say you have a tap here that comes out of the side of your house with a little uh, something you can turn, yeah, to turn the water on. That gives you water. That is called a water tap. You also have them in the house, right? In the kitchen for washing in the bathroom, for washing your hands and your uh -huh. face for the shower. Those are taps or a tap outside. You'd have one. All right. Now, this green thing that you would put on here, screw it on. All right. And then you unroll it and it comes down here and it comes there. I'm going to go all the way down here to the other, to the way down here. Okay. So I'm going to make this complicated for myself, of course, just because I like to complicate things. Ooh, let's try to follow this and make a nice hole. Oh, I got a cork in here. It's not working very well. <laughs> Put on the wrong side. <laughs> so it's twisted. <laughs> and it's fat. It's twisted. But anyway, that's the like a snake. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda. That, of course, is the hose. The hose. And then I heard water spray. Okay. So you could get like the jet spray they use to wash cars, but that's the piece you hold that looks like a gun. <laughs> so you could have a, um, you could have two, right? You could have this hooked up to, well, like I said, you could have this hooked up to a 
water hose, which looks like a gun. All right. Hold it, something like this. And then spray, right? Psh, psh, psh. All the water comes out. You can wash the car, wash the house. That would be a water spray. Okay, spray. Boy, I wish I had a tool. I do have the tool to draw and write, but I just don't use it. Too many things on my desk. Spray. Well, just like that, right? A sp is it spray? That's right. P-R-A-Y. Spray. Oh, S. That's what I'm forgetting. Spray. A water spray. And it can be a verb, too. To spray. Now, the last one here is maybe the hose. Maybe it's hooked up to something. Like maybe it's hooked up to something on the lawn, on the grass that looks like. Let's see. Let's see. A couple of racks here. And maybe one over here. And on this, they have a couple of bars or something that go around. Maybe one on this side, too. And then they have little holes in them. All right. And each one of these little holes, the water would shoot out. Water comes out, water comes out, water comes out, water comes out. That would be a, it's spraying water everywhere. And it could spin, could be like that too. And you hook the hose up to this, right? That would be a sprinkler, a water sprinkler, sprinkler. Okay. Now, did you ever see in a building sometimes on the ceiling, if there's a fire, then there's a little, it's like a little circular thing. That too is called a, a sprinkler system. If there's a fire in the building, these will turn on and they will spray water like a shower. It's called a sprinkler as well. If it sprays water, it's a sprinkler. But this is a power spray. All right. There you go. There's your lesson on hoses and and taps and sprinklers and sprays. So that was whose point again? That was Hannah. It's on her second point. Next. We're almost done. Huh? Yeah. Did someone say sponge before Peter? I heard someone say something. No. Well, Peter gets the point. This is a sponge. Sponge. This is why they call that guy, that because they call it a sea sponge. Um. And that's why we have the cartoon square pants, uh, SpongeBob square pants. Peter, you know this. You said it earlier. Wait a minute. Come on, Ruby, Ruby. What is it? Broom. Peter. Broom. This is a broom. And you sweep up the dust or whatever you have to clean with the broom. What do you call this pan here that you put all the... You put all the dirt and garbage in. Anybody know what this is called? It's called a dustpan. Yeah. Broom, Peter. Five, three, three, two, one, two. Bam. Uh. <laughs> what is that? Bella. Oh. Bella. Bella, you said that first, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, Bella got it first. That's a hammer. Now, there are different types of hammer. You'll notice that uh, this this woodworker here, his hammer is different. You see that? You see his? Ah, what a bad picture. See how this one is different? It has like teeth, two teeth here. That's so you can put it under the nail and pry it and pull the nails out when you're. This is a carpenter's hammer. This is like a mason hammer or something. A little bit different, but they all do the same job. All right, last word. Bella is the winner again. Unbelievable. All right, last word. What do we got? Hammer. That's a hammer. <laughs> Different types of hammers. Sludge hammers, power hammers, carpenter's hammers. What's that? Bye, Peter. Yeah, that's right. You got it. Good job, Bella. You picked up some really ooh, tough words. Do you ever use hammers and drills? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but you knew the words.
Hello. Well, you got good research techniques or something, but you found it. You got it. If Peter, tell Peter to tell his cousin and them get the dog to leave him alone because they're really, he was doing well, but then now he's getting distracted and he's playing. And if he's going to continue like that, just delete him. Can't learn that way. All right. So number one, oh, Ruby. <laughs> Ruby is number one. Number two is going to be Anne. Number three is going to be Hannah. Number four. Tracy, number five, Peter, and six, Bella. Ruby, the first one, check chair. Track. Tractor. Tractor. Tractor, no chairs. Yeah, tractor. It's the now. noun. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, where's your coffee, Lee? Tough. A tra tractor now. Tractor. Tractor. It's a noun. I don't know how to use tractor. <laughs> ride or drive? <clears throat> Probably ride, ride. ride. I don't know how to drive a tractor. Well, it would depend. Some big industrial tractors, you would drive them because you would be right? inside. But oh, some, okay. the ones that are open and you just sit on a bench, then you'd ride them, I guess. Right. Both, okay. ride or drive. So actually, we can, you can, you can say that I don't know how to use, like a generally. Uh, well, it depends on the, the you know, like, uh, you know, like the, the small ones that I used to, to ride, we said ride the tractor, not drive them. Yeah, because so it's it like means, you get on, right? You're you're exposed to the sun. Yeah. So it means that we don't know if it's like an open tractor yeah. or with the roof. So it, yeah. can we can we just say that I don't know how to use? No. Um. Well, no. It does it, both are okay. You could say drive or ride because we don't know which one they're talking about. That's my point. So in conclusion. Ruby, she said use. You can say that I don't know how to ride or drive. Yeah, uh, check, sir. Yeah, because it's the um, vehicle, right? Yeah. And number two, idea. That's like saying I don't know how to use a bicycle. <laughs> we I, just have no idea. I have no ideas. Yes. <laughs> you no. better think of one quick. <laughs> use Google. Right. When you see the videos and you know what it means or they mean, mean in Vietnamese. So use Google. Take advantage of the tools. <laughs> and then, you know, I have no idea. I have no idea. Actually, means I don't know. Right. Yeah. Uh, Hannah, number three, inside. Um, um, I'm curious about what's inside the lab. <laughs> okay, what's inside the, the lab? Very good. I'm curious about what's what is inside the lab. Good. JC founder. Yeah, I know that here they put verb, but actually the, the meaning of the S the verb is really really different. It means like a sinking or something. Inside the what? Inside the lab, laboratory. Laboratory. Oh, the lab. Oh, okay. Lab. Lab. Lab with a B. Lab. Okay. Laboratory. I guess. <laughs> Tracy, Miss, number four. Miss Lei is founder of my English lab. <laughs> Your English class? No. <laughs> yeah, actually, founder. Yes. Language center, yeah. Um, is the founder. Yeah, but the verb, the verb has very different meaning with this so have to be careful when we use as the verb number five here for peter a doubt i'm not a doubt you're not an adult mm, it's such a fix <laughs> and he said that no i'm not the powder miss lay is not the powder the english class i just say language center right or the company uh, and peter mr Trevor said that you have to try harder of course, you're not an adult, right? Of course, we can count this. So maybe you can say, do you want to be an adult, P? 
Peter? No. No. Do you think that being an adult is easy? No. No? Why? Because it's too much time to be a doubt. <laughs> too much time. They have to work hard, right? They have to uh, take a lot of responsibility. So maybe you're not ready yet. Uh, number six here is for Bella. Bella, aim. So what is your, what is your purpose of learning English? Uh, Bella? Um, to... So you can say my purpose or my aim of? Aim of learning English is? Learning English is? Is to? Uh, is um, to smart. Is Mr. Trevor? To smart at English. Ah. To be good at English, mm -hmm. you can say that or improve my speaking skills or to be better at English. You already good, for example, you are already good at English. You can say that my aim of joining this class or learning English is to be better at it. Or to tease Mr. Chava. <laughs> All right. So back to Ruby, number seven, outside. I usually go outside with my friends on weekends. On the weekends. Very good. Very good. Usually go out. That's what they say. Uh, outside, I mean, usually we compare with inside. So I can say that we or I usually play outside, right, with my friends on the weekends. On the weekends. Actually, for us here, because the weather is so nice, not much difference between winter and summer, right? Usually we open the doors every day. But you see that in, in movies, right? A lot of countries, either in the colder areas or climates, they have to close the door, right? When they go outside, they have to wear the thick jacket in the winters. That's why when it's sunny and when summer comes and when the weather's nice, they go outside, right? So that's the difference. But for us, actually, we open the door all the time. So for Ruby's sentence, I would like to say that I usually uh, play, right? Um, or walk, play outside with my friends uh, at the weekend. Not, not indoors, outside, okay? Uh, and the next one, university. Stacy and I are studying in Hanoi Open University. Yeah, in Hanoi Open University. That's right. We are studying in Hanoi Open University. That's right. And next for Hannah. And I, 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 I have, I have a sentence to say with you. Yeah. <laughs> to say, yeah. Okay. You can say that. I don't think. Uh, yeah, it, it's okay. I have a sentence. Usually I have like a story. So. You can say that I am making, I am making sentences, right? You can say that I am making sentences right now. We are making sentences using the vocabulary. Because I have like a secret to tell you. I have a story to tell you, you or talk uh, to you. Sentences like a little bit, you see here, grammar, right? Grammatical. It's this kind of like words or sentence. So I, uh, I think we can say that um, we usually make sentences after vocab challenge, okay? Something like that. Tracy, is right? Yeah, Tracy. Kettle. I just say kettle. <laughs> I, I don't really say kettle. Actually, I don't really have a, a lot of American accent. So wait, kettle. My house don't raise kettle kettles your house so that is the, the house race 
Yeah, usually I know that because we translate from Vietnamese, right? My house here kind of mean family, right? Family is mean we. So you can say that we don't, right? We don't raise cattle. Um, yes. Yeah, we don't raise cattle. So what about, oh, sorry. What about chicken? Do you raise, no. do you raise chicken? No. No, also no. So no chicken, no cattle. Um, blue roll. Okay. Because sometimes I have to, because this one, we don't have to put uh, here to make it. So you just say that. Actually, my family, or we don't raise, 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 right? Raise your hand. So raise, cattle. You don't have to put S. We should put uh, blue row form here. But my house, you know, actually the house is like a physical, right? The physical house that we live inside. <clears throat> I think that we should say that my family and doesn't because one family doesn't uh, raise cattle. Okay. okay? All right. Uh, <clears throat> Not the house. The family I means the member, the people in the family. Um, the next one here, number 11 for Peter. Rick. Peter, it's your turn. You know, you know that is also the verb too, right? And Mr. Trevor did make sentences with this word. I don't know how to use Rick. Rick is a tool, so you can say that I don't know how to use Rick's, right? or I don't know how to use a Rick. You have to put it in singular or plural. Okay, Peter, don't smile at me. Are you hearing me, Peter? Uh, a Rick or Rick's. Yeah, I don't know how to use, or I will learn how to use a Rick. No. Next. Yeah, number 12 is for Bella. Plow. 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 The farmer use the farmer use the plow to plow the soil. <laughs> These are the verb too. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Or you can say that the farmer actually farmer or the farmer is plowing the soil. Right? Yeah. Plowing the soil. It's a verb too. Back to Ruby. Well, look at this. Look at this. Everybody. Look at the part of spit of this one. See? One, two, three, four. It can be a noun. It's the, the well, a well that we can take the water and use at home. The other adverb, it means my mom cooks very, very well. Adjective. How are, how are you, Tracy? I'm well, right? And verb, <laughs> let's see, what is the verb? I think it's, but what is your example? It's Ruby, right? What part of spit do you use for number 13? My house has a well for water. Yeah. My house has a well for water. That's right. House. Okay. Not how. House. What is the verb? Yeah. Supposed to, but I, I, I couldn't. Not yes. Okay, but a lot of meanings with this one. Yeah. And number fourteen, shovel. I don't usually shovel soil. Ah, soil. I don't usually shovel soil. Okay. Um, Hannah. Bucket. My, my mother used a bucket to get water from the well, and and is not too yeah. And 
not chew. Yes, not chew. Okay, the last one, but here I would like to write this. My mom, right? You say yeah. my mom? My mom. Only your mom, right? My mom use, right? Okay. Get water from the well. From the well. The well, because that your well is not my well. And? And it's not you. And what? It is use it. Use it to use the water. Yeah. Okay. A few things here. That's why I put it here. The first thing in my mom is she, right? Every day and very often so uses. Bucket. Bucket is the is the thing, is a thing. So you have to say it in singular one right a bucket or uh, buckets but i think mom maybe she can just, just like how two of them or maybe you just say that my mom uses a bucket. a bucket to get water from the well and uses it's okay so hannah the meaning of the sentence is really good but here we start have to pay a little attention to the tenses yeah she no blood s okay all right so we move to the last page of this a lot of tools for today uh tracy number 16 not her is ho so hose hose ah okay that's why actually this one is not void it should be they they maybe you have the wrong my one. dad you my dad use uses right uh, i just speak uses 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 hoses hose. Uh, hose right or the hose hoses the hose the hose to water to water the lens Yes. are the, the veggies or vegetables yeah this this one i should say that this right the, the long long green thing that mr Cho already explained very carefully yes so my dad he uses the hose to water the land or the yes. vegetables or the plants okay all yes. right that's tracy peter sponge can be a verb too. Um, um, sponge, yeah. Um, can you to clean a dish? Ah, dishes. Yeah, it means. Yeah, that's two. Do you use this to wash the, your dishes, Peter? Do you use sponge to wash your dishes? Dishes. Yeah. Yeah? yeah yeah so you say that we can use um this one is what this one is countable yeah countable so you can say that we uh we use a sponge to wash dishes yeah all right broom another two it's for bella um, my mother Use uses uses today we cannot learn anything but we because we just talk about dad mom only one so we have to put s i'm sorry s or es yeah after the the verb we call verb blood s uses uses yeah the floor sure do you have do you have her sometimes? Bella? Yes. Yes, sure. All right. The next one here is for back to Ruby Hammer. My grandfather has a lot of hammers. Hammers. Very good. Yeah, sure. My grandfather has a lot of hammers. Good, good, good. Last one here is for Anne. 
Rio. Another two. A lot of twos today. N. I don't feel. Drill. I don't use the drill. No, that's what you said. I don't use the drill. Yeah. 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 Usually no, right? Because you need like a really muscle <laughs> to really drill something. It depends, but usually, yeah. Girls or women, we don't. All right. A lot of tools, a lot of like, I think, interesting vocabulary words today. And now you take a short break. And after that, you can get back to the reading with Mr. Trevor. Goodbye from Miss Lee. Break Bye. time. Bye. Break time. Oh, that was fast.